Okay, first thing you want to do, give this a good clean with soapy water, because you will have like a coating on there that prevents it from being going rusty when they're in the box and stored. Get yourself some grease, CV grease. Smear some around here, okay. Now this will be a little bit tricky getting this on. It just slides on. Take a bit of a wiggle. It's on, it's on. I do advise giving the ABS a little clean while it's on there. Now this is all the integrated bearings, don't to touch anything. They're already pre-greased and everything. Now in your pack, you should get a new cap, which goes over the top here, and a new nut. And this nut is very important, it's torqued right, and you will need a torquing thing. It needs to be torqued to 300. And then this is a one and a half inch. When it clicks, you know it's tall. Then, you can see, there's a little nib in the knot there. Now you need, possibly my other punch, a little bigger one than that. You need to punch. That bit of the knot in. I'll just do that and come back and show you. A lot easier if you have the wheel at the, uh, the top. Uh, that's what I'm stuck with. There's one more. That just helps lock the knot into place. Now we're back to this piece. Uh, you may not get these with your new pads, we may not. If you buy the cheapest ones, you won't get these. You'll have to use the old ones, so just give them a clean. Um, in my case, I've got new ones. These come with my, with my brakes. These going back on the original knots. This is a T50 start. Now these are a bit of a nightmare to get on and off. So there you guys, if you've got a nice extension bar, it will help a lot. You can tie this up out of the way without the wheel. Trying to have anything to handle with it.
ones. Yeah, I did the long one, but I just took it off just a little bit more. I can't say anything though, if you've got a set of these extension bars, you can actually interlink a little longer. on go back to either putting your old clips on or if you're lucky enough to have the new ones to go on put your new ones on uh, the longer piece of help I'll pretty much just click over you can't get these in the wrong places there they all have the little side clips. You can see the longer piece out flat on them. Then you're going to need copper grease. You just pop a little tiny piece. Not a lot because you don't want it getting on your discs. And then and that'll help your pad slide back and forth. Mm. I think we have an issue with the uh, camera person. <laughs> Please hit the like button. <laughs> um, and quite simply, these slide into the grooves there. Right? And so, I always find it's easier to put the bottom one in first and slide the top. There we go. And this just slides off. Let me wind this back and undo the cap at the other end. Okay. As I say, this goes on to there. Front ones are different. Front ones you can literally get a screwdriver and push, it, push them back. Um, as I say, pop that in. If it's too tight to turn with, with the handle, just put a spanner on the end of there. Um, so as I say, if you buy the next ones up from the cheap ones, so you get the new nuts as well, or we do the lucky thread on them. I have to wind it back up just a tad with a
straight, which is going to... It'll end up slipping your head. I can't hold the phone. Yet. Okay, well, just pop your two nuts back in there then. Did have a little bit, had to rewind the caliper, so I had to stop the video. Okay, because you haven't gone quite enough. Just watch that these stay in place here while you tighten it up. And you can do this up to a Pacific Torque if you choose to. I've always found it to be perfectly fine, just hand tighten them. Yeah, I know that just like brakes. Now, the nuts they give me to go in it are 12 mil, but the bog standard ones on it are a fifth, uh, sorry, 13 mil. And then, as I say, I've got new nuts in this. Can't put the importance of making sure that is at the right torque. If you over torque it, over tighten it, you do damage to your bearings. If it's not tight enough, the wheel will come off. But at this point, you need to cap, you need to just push it on there for now. I'm not going to show that in a minute because I'm going to paint all these bits. And then, Right, if you refill, I'll probably take a little bit of the excess out of there if you've got too much in there. Pop your wheel back on, jack it down, give it a start up your engine, give it a pump a couple of times, jack it back up, just check your wheel, it's not rubbing or anything. If it is rubbing when you spin it, then you'll have to take your caliper back off. Just rewind your piston back in, pop it back on, do it again. You might have to do that a couple of times. Worst case scenario, it should be fine first first time. And that's how you change your rear discs and pads. Citroen C4. I hope this video helps somebody.